Number one, this is Raja Supreme Master Mi Le Yingnen. I'm a disciple of Namo Zoting Emperor Mecha Mr. Jiong Chen, who is the founder of Mecha Guan Dao. Huang Tian Wu Ji, Hou Tu Wei Zhen, Long Yan Feng Di, Hua Yu Ru Lai. The metaverse has been a hot topic of conversation recently. The term metaverse combines the prefix meta, which means beyond, with universe, and is often traced to Neil Stephenson's 1922 science fiction novel Snow Crash. In the novel, people put on eye spaces and headphones, find a connection terminal, and then they can enter the parallel virtual space, where people can use digital avatars of themselves to explore the online worlds for entertainment, doing business, and living there. This term became popular since this year as Facebook changed its name to Meta to focus on Metaverse. That the Metaverse will be a virtual online world where people can get together, work, communicate, and play games at their homes. It looks the Metaverse will change the organization and functioning of the existing society, forming a new way of life with integration of reality and virtuality. At present, the Metaverse concept related products are mainly in online games, virtual reality, augmented reality, and social media. If you are still unfamiliar with the concept of Metaverse, you can watch the movie Ready Player One or The Matrix to help you understand the concept of Metaverse. So you can see the advantages of using Metaverse. Like it is convenient, creating much fun, and it's exciting. It allows people to do anything, go anywhere, and become anyone they want to be. They even can socialize through their fantasy characters and help people to escape from reality. However, if people are addicted to the virtual space under the concept of metaverse, then it would distract people from their real lives. People would like to stay in their houses instead of going outside to interact in reality. They will even get confused due to losing the boundaries between the real and virtual worlds. Moreover, people will gradually forget they truly have soul. They may be less interested in spiritual development or less willing to seek spiritual growth, as the stimulations from virtual worlds attract most of their attention. In fact, except metaverse, we are continuously wandering between the virtual and the real world. We all know the metaverse is fictitious compared with the real world, just like a scene at the end of the movie, Ready Player One. Reality is a real thing. However, from another perspective, if you believe we all have immortal soul, then in terms of our internal life, between our physical body and immortal soul, can you tell which one is the real thing? The metaverse is a manipulated world, and it influences people and even restricts or controls people's mind by osmosis. However, people still can break the chains brought from the virtual world. In the movie, The Animatrix, the human potentials make people become aware of the restriction set by Matrix and being awakened. People also have natural spiritual abilities, like the Therai. They are all potentials and help people not to be confused or controlled by the virtual world if the abilities are activated through the natural potential development in Matrix Guandao. My spiritual abilities are weakened and strengthened. That made me to think about the metaverse from a different angle, like from the spiritual perspective. For me, when switching between different virtual and real angles, the spiritual world is the most real and cannot be ignored in our internal life. If you are sensible enough to energy, then you will know everything is not as simple as it seems. All things have its energy field aura or invisible power behind, which interacted with us unconsciously. That is why sometimes you may get headache or uncomfortable feeling after you met someone or entered into some place. I think the metaverse, of course, has its own power behind. However, is this power friendly or unfriendly to human beings? I would like to share my recent experience about it. I had their eye and some image would pop into my mind when I received the message from the spiritual world, no matter my eyes are open or not. One day, I was doing some preparation for this film. I saw an evil spirit with digital codes covered on its skin stroke my cheek with its long thin nails when my eyes were open. 
Then, I enter into meditation status and try to trace the actual power behind this image. Through the third eye, I saw the evil spirit presenting dark power, which invaded a large circular and bright place, and was located at the corner of it. I think this is supposed to represent the invasion of dark power behind the digital technology to speciality. I also saw a man with many wires and connectors plugged into his bag, and he was weakly sitting and stuck there. Then I understand why people addict to virtual space, such as online games, and get lost in it, because by connecting with the virtual world, their energy is squeezed by the negative power behind the world, and their speciality is being weakened and controlled. You may be wondering, is what was captured by their eye? From virtual world, no. The special world presented by the third eye is not an artificially manipulated space, but it is real, and we even can sense it without any eye spaces and headphones. It influences why we are alive, and we need to face it after death. We just use this physical body as our avatars in the earth to experience, endure testing. And obtain the sense or energy that we need in our internal life. If we become more spiritually completed after getting more sense we need through our reincarnation, then we would have an opportunity for our spiritual promotion. However, the tests and challenges in our past lives sometimes make us lose ourselves, and thus leading to complex reincarnation. In the movie Ready Player One, to beat all the levels of the game. The male protagonist placed more attention on the game designer's original intention for the game to think about his strategy, and it is a key to his success all the way. However, have we forgotten our original intention or ultimate purpose of our internal life? That is exactly the spiritual promotion. So, how to make ourselves not to get lost through various tests and challenges? That is. To form our divine self fashion, after converting to Metra Guan Dao and under the guidance from the founder Namo Zoting Emperor Metra Mister Jiang Chen, my fashion is formed, and it connects me all the time. The real world is sometimes crucial, and unlike the virtual world, there are no retreat and reset buttons, as it is the process we have to go through, and is unavoidable. Too much comfort cannot bring us pressure or make us get involved. Fashion will not decide everything for us or tell us everything clearly and plainly. Otherwise, we will lose the process of comprehension, and the wisdom gained from our comprehension can actually bring the breakthrough to life. Fashion is a cementer, guiding us to find the wisdom and the essence or energy we need in our internal life. And thus leading to our spiritual promotion when we are more spiritual completed. The space where the fashion stay is the heaven realm in higher dimensional space time. Therefore, we can receive the energy or wisdom from there by connecting with fashion. The wisdom or energy is perceptible to me or others who convert to Metra Guan Dao. Moreover, through converting Metra Guan Dao and having spiritual practice there, my internal homeland. Can be formed in heavenly realm, where is actually our immortal soul, that is the ultimate true existence, belong to. We all know the metaverse is a sweeping trend in the future. It will bring new opportunities and changes to people's ideology and consumption patterns. I believe everything has its own meaning and its own purpose. We realize metaverse advantages and also its potential harm to us. Not only from mental but spiritual perspective, then we can get prepared to protect our precious soul. For example, to develop our celestial potential to detect the negative power from the virtual world, and be able to be against it, instead of being controlled by the power behind the virtual world. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video, and subscribe my YouTube channel if you are interested. See you next time. Bye bye.